Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com, and I'm proud to announce that I am now offering one-on-one -on -one Zoom mentorship calls as well as recorded rapid-fire critiques. Now, before I get into the details of exactly what I'm offering, I want to share a quick story with you from my past. Now, back when I was a teenager starting my photographic journey, I didn't have the internet to turn to to help me with my photography. But what I did have was a mentor. So what was it that, that made you for a couple of years basically mentor me and help me out. You had a lot of ambition. Now my mentor so happened to work at the camera store and would critique every single roll of film that I had developed. I would come in and, and you'd print my film and then you'd sit there and you'd critique it. You'd tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, which is obviously very helpful for somebody trying to do something. He wouldn't just look at my photos and give me praise, mostly because my work back then wasn't deserving of it just yet, but he also wouldn't rip me apart. He would look at my work and help me see where improvements could be made. He was helping me see the difference between a snapshot and a photograph, as well as giving me enough encouragement to keep me motivated and moving in the right direction. When you came along, it, it was almost like I didn't feel like anything was lost on you. I felt like everything that I was teaching you, it was gonna, you, you would come back in with images and say, hey, remember what you told me last week? Well, I did this and this is the result. And it really worked. He was there to not only guide me in how to improve my photos, but also help guide me as I worked towards buying new gear. You weren't there one day, it was one of your days off, and I bought a 24 to 120 lens and then, I told you this when you were in and you made me return it. I owe so much of my success as a photographer to my very first mentor. Now after years of being asked to offer mentorships and rapid fire critiques for sale, I've decided to finally do it. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to do this. And this was super helpful and uh, thank you. Thanks man, I appreciate it. This was awesome. Good experience. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for doing this, I appreciate it. Just keep it going because you're given the feedback she needs, it wouldn't be helpful to say everything was great and perfect. Now, in order to accommodate as many people as possible, I'm offering two different options. The first is a one-on-one -on -one 45 minute live Zoom mentorship call. Now, due to time constraints, I'm only offering a limited amount of these each month. Now, once all those slots are filled for that month, the option will be gone until the next month starts. The second is a recorded 15 minute rapid fire critique where I critique your images, website, or both, which is similar to what I've done for years on YouTube. So here's how it works. Head on over to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship. When you sign up for a one-on-one -on -one live mentorship call with me, you get to pick your call date, time, and basically you get to choose your own mentorship adventure. You can upload up to 100 of your images for us to discuss. I can critique your website or Instagram, and I can even help you with your business related questions or give you guidance on what gear you might be interested in. This is your live mentorship call and I'm here to help you as much as possible. Now after the mentorship call is over, I will send you a video recording of the call so you can always refer back to it. By the way, I've posted a few full mentor calls so you can see exactly what they're like. Now I know the first option might not be for everybody, that's why I'm offering option number two, which is for a recorded 15 minute rapid fire critique. You'll be able to send me up to 50 images, your website, your Instagram, pretty much anything you'd like my feedback on and I will record a personal rapid fire critique just for you. I wanted to make sure that I was offering critiques that are accessible to as many people as possible who would like them. That's why there are two different options. Now what I wanna do right now is give you a sneak peek inside some of my one-on-one -on -one live mentorship calls as well as a couple of my rapid fire critiques. So with this, I like to just, I like to go through the images, tell you what I think and being that you're here with me, we can, we can just, talk about them. If I've got questions, you can fill me in and any questions you have, just ask. Sure. You know, we're here. We'll just, we'll just make it happen. I was going to ask you, cause they're on the swing set. What's your best recommendation for that? Fast, 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 fast. Unless you're trying to show motion. Um, okay. I would start off with freezing action before you start playing with the slowing it down. So in this case, you're only at one, one twenty-fifth of a second. You're at four five. You're at three twenty ISO. You have the, okay, so it's the 7300, that's why. Nothing wrong with the 7300. You can totally do this. So, I mean, you gotta be at 1 500th, 1 1000th, you're outdoors. Give me 1 1000th of a second. And we're not far. Okay. 
is this later in the day? Yes. Well, that's that, right. So I can tell because it's not as bright. So even then, you could be at one five hundredth of a second, which we're at 120, one, 125 to 250 to 500 is two stops. ISO 640, ISO 12, whatever. So you can go up to ISO 1250 after that and, and, and get the same exposure but at one five hundredth of a second at four or five. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to do this. And, and I'm serious uh, when I say that uh, from my perspective, you have made the most of your God-given abilities and you are to be commended for that. And it's the way you bring joy to the work, the way you're serious about the work, but you make it enjoyable. I don't know all of your background, but just know that you are using the gifts that God gave you, and that's an awesome thing to see. And keep up the good work, man. You're awesome. Thank you very much. It's the raising of the shadows under the boardwalk because it's not that bright under there. Embrace, okay. Embrace the fact that it's darker under there. See? Like, doesn't that look more natural to the scene? Yeah. Like, the sun's going down. You know there's not a lot of light under there. I like the colors you have. I like all of that, but the way that you have the editing of the wood, it just doesn't come across as natural. Okay. Because it's it, it's not, right? It's just you raised it too much. You raised the shadows. So try to keep it as natural as possible. I think this works better anyway. Yeah, I do like it darker. So that's just that's just editing. It's just pull back. Um, don't go too far with shadows. Like when, when, when I'm working with shadows, I don't... You'll never really see me up here at like... 80 you know 80 on the shadows unless it's a you know a mistake of some kind and you did that see you did it better here on the next one this is this is really nice but but you could see the difference from here to here yeah right this is really per this is beautiful because you've got the leading lines starting up here that draw you all the way through the frame all the way to the other side oh see this is great from a distance. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. This is really good. Yeah, this was one of those ones that I took not thinking it was going to turn out like much and I really liked the way that it turned out. Yeah, I mean, it's just a it's it's the north wall. It's uh Game of Thrones, you know. <laughs> this one is actually the bluer the better. Okay. I think. I don't think Let's see, I don't think warming it up works because it's no. meant to be a cold. And I like it a little bluer. Yep, I agree. I just, again, you see how I'm tightening it up? Yep. That's that's mostly just contrast and a little bit of texture and clarity. It just changes it. And this is this is beautiful. This is really good. And then just more glacier shots. I love the glaciers. And they're just so interesting when you isolate small parts of them. The only thing that I have is like, I can't tell the size. I don't know, are you like up yeah. close and this is like just snow on the ground or is this like zoomed in on one of these parts, you know? We're just way closer on one of the smaller parts. Cause you lose the sheer size. And so in this case, like this is immense uh -huh. and really cool. Um, that could just be snow in a Walmart parking lot after the, it, after the snow plows. Yeah, basically like it's hard to tell what it is. Yeah. without contact so really nice stuff uh, you're you're doing great i mean you answered all my questions you really helped me a lot i really appreciate it and this was super helpful and uh, thank you thank you very much man um can you tell me as a photographer trying to get into this business do you think that my name brandy constantino or kind of a phrase or brand idea for my name, like Frono's photo, yeah. it's best because my name is really long. I wish it was like John Smith, but I, you know, what's the best way to put, cause you know, Instagram, my website, all the my other stuff. What do you want it to be? Like whatever you want it to be, just make it work. It's not the name that sells the work. It's the work that sells the work. Yeah. Okay. I'll figure that out. You know, Brandy C photography. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it 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 that the name is irrelevant. They'll okay. learn you. They'll learn. You know, people will come to you because they 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 want your work. Okay. I I mean I'm a big fan of easy to remember names and all. Yeah. But 
you know okay. that's okay. uh yeah just pick something and own it i'm trying to get paid you know that's the short that's the short goal i want to do like paid portrait work um oh well this know. stuff like you show this to a family there's no reason why somebody with kids is not going to be like i want this of my kids right that's great <laughs> stuff um there's no reason why when you show this portrait and then you show this portrait and then you show this portrait and and this mm -hmm. and let's see what else we've got in here you know you show something like this mm -hmm. even just the way that this is people are going to fall in love with it it's just it's they're really solid portraits i would just go slightly wider give me a little bit more of the ground so that the trees are okay. cut off at the stumps unless you did actually mm -hmm. you did that because of these cars right these cars are in the way right right yeah so there's in, in, unless all right then if we went wider the cars would have been a distraction so there's not much i can say there so i do see that now but i do like the colors um the exposure on this the tones i would just come in here and i'd uh punch this up you see the difference yeah so i even brighten it like see that's where it started with the, with the edit that mm -hmm. you sent and then this is where i went right. with just pumping the contrast going up with some texture and clarity and just a little bit of saturation and there you go yeah and that that's going to be one of my next things is taking lightroom classes on learning how to use light because i'm all i do is adjust exposure and crop on occasion and that's it okay well well even even something like this works you see how we change the composition a little bit right just because okay. it, I, I didn't like where the trees were being cut off at the bottom and I, right. and, I under, and I totally understand why you did it because the cars were there, so that's not a problem. But if we look for a different composition, you could use yeah. cropping as a means to learn composition. Just because I don't okay. do it, just because I don't crop, that that's a totally different ball game. Like I'm always seeing the world a certain way, and I'm always cropping in my mind. I'm cropping like right. what would it look like in this composition. So another thing you can do is you could take your longer lenses that you have, and you could start trying to find the details of the building because we know those cars are in the way so it makes it a little more difficult to get the right. whole thing in but there's nothing wrong with you know oh, that's weird that's we're, we're just trying to find some different things you can do but you know that's look at this clouds right 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 you know, so you see how the clouds look like they're fading away but you have yeah. this detail of just the spire or whatever this how, how they built this yeah. so that so you you can utilize the crop to find the different the different examples of images inside of an image that you can then go then you can go replicate again because you could even do something like and this isn't going to look great but sometimes just showing the tippy tippy top and the you know mm -hmm. it's just something yeah. different and it doesn't look okay. like cropped that far but it's just showing you there's a million images and look just look <laughs> That's where yours started, and right. that's with, that, that was just with one click of the Skittle button. Keep shooting as much as you can. The more you shoot, the more you check the composition, the more you learn about focusing, just you'll continue to get better. Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate everything everything you said. I was When I seen that you uh, put this on here, I was like, right away, I was like, I didn't care how much it would have cost. I was like, um, I'm going to book it. This was very beneficial for me, and if you ever do it again, I'm definitely going to you know, try to book it uh, again if I'm lucky enough to be one of the first five. Just keep on shooting. Just keep on practicing. All right, sir. And you'll get better and better. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. This was awesome. Good experience. I, I want to see you at one five hundredth of a second to one one thousandth. If you have, if you have a two eight, if you're only at a thousand ISO, look. If you've got the camera telling you, and I know we're past the fifteen minutes by uh, a good five minutes, whatever. I want to. I want to keep this going because i want to give you the best feedback i can but you gotta you gotta look even if you use take a picture and if this is what the camera's telling you is a good setting then you know what you can do from here okay we don't want to be at one one we don't want to be at 1100 iso because that's auto iso we want to be at say 1600 or 2500 iso because even at 1600 iso one more just about a stop we're at 1 500th or 1 640th of a second put that at 3200 iso and we're at 1 1000th of a second at 28 and boom it's going to look great but this is a great frame 
You've got one, two, three, four, five players skating in it. You've got the player, the, uh, the, the, the person with the puck skating into the zone. We just need to get that focus. I say this to people with when it comes to making money is sometimes you do the things you don't want to do to allow you to do the things you do want to do. Okay. Right? I'm not saying do something you don't want to do, but you're like spending a day with someone walking around with their family and getting candidates and portraits, you could charge them for a day in the life of. Okay. You just have to get the right people to say yes. That's yeah, really that, that's it, the part that I, I don't know, I, like I feel like I'm at a point where I'm like, I feel ready technically and you know, like I could go out and do that, but I, I just haven't been able to get that first one, you know? Well, so have people been like, wow, these are awesome. Like, I wish I could get shots of my family like this. Like, if do they ever leave those comments? You could just reach out to them and be like, look, why don't I come out? Mm -hmm. We'll spend the day, if I get like, and if you're a little still hesitant and they're friends, be like, let me take these photos. If you like them, pay me what you think they're worth, which is always a scary thing because they may give you 20 bucks mm -hmm. sometimes, but at least it shows you that you can do it. And it gets you more images that you can show other people. Then they can tag you okay. and they can show their friends. And then friends that you don't know will call and be like, oh, I saw what you did with so-and-so, I'd like to do the same thing. And then depending on how much time it is, you can be like, you know, it's like 500 bucks, it's, a thousand. it's, it's all based off your time. Figure right. out what your what your time is worth. Cool. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the, the feedback. It's been very, I don't, I don't have this in my life. I've been doing this like on my own. So having somebody to tell me what the heck I'm screwing up on or what can be better is very helpful. No, I think you're doing a great job. I really do. Thank you. Yeah, um, that yeah, I I was expecting it to, to get torn apart. So I'm I'm you know thank you for being for being polite and you know. <laughs> no, I would tear you apart. Yeah. I would tear you apart if it, if it needed to be torn apart. Mm -hmm. But for me, critiquing isn't about just ripping somebody apart just because you want to be an asshole, right? Mm -hmm. It's finding. I can see that it's there, you know? Mm -hmm. You show, you've got images, you've got more than a handful of images that are fantastic. So it's just the subtle tweaks that you can make with mm -hmm. the compositions on some of them, but. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. The time to get new gear or to upgrade is when you've done everything in your power with the current gear that you have and the gear is holding you back. So if a D600 shoots like four frames a second and you're shooting sports, but you're getting fantastic images and it's limiting you on the ability to do X, Y, or Z, then that's the point where I have the person upgrade because they've done, they've gotten everything they can out of it and that's what's holding them back. Okay. But it's not holding you back now. Is this something we can book in the future again? Or is yeah, we, we could set up and I mean, the, the ongoing part is always good. Like, I, I would enjoy seeing your progress. I'll keep yelling at you, too, uh, the whole way. I mean, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just yelling in general. You can yell at me all you want, because I know it. it's from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm just amazed how well you've taken the constructive criticism, because I still am the worst at taking the constructive criticism. I am, too. I am, too. So I get it, but yell me yeah you can blast me all you want because this is from a pro, pro and i need your direct i need help yeah. and i loved everything you said today so all thank right. you yeah. and i heard brandy say just now at the end about yelling at her or something just keep it going because you're given the feedback she needs it wouldn't be helpful to say everything was great and perfect okay. it wouldn't wouldn't help at all I hope you enjoyed seeing those clips from my one-on-one -on -one mentorship calls as well as rapid fire critiques. Now, if you're looking to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one live mentorship call or a rapid fire critique, head on over to fronosphoto.com mentorship. Now, I look forward to seeing you on a one-on-one -on -one live mentorship call or for a rapid fire critique. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. It's important to have mentors. It's important to then talk to them and and tell them how much you appreciate the fact that they were there at that point to help you out because if Matt wasn't there to help me out when I was starting I don't know what direction I would have gone